And we are back on the New Checks Daily, and we are with Kate Wynn talking about parent-teacher interviews. That's right. So how to get the most out of them. Absolutely. So how do you get the most out of them? <laughs> <laughs> well, the first thing is to go. Yep. Um, now, it shouldn't necessarily be the first time you've talked to the child's teacher this mm -hmm. year. I mean, make sure you're communicating phone calls and planner notes and all those sorts of things anytime when you have a question or concern. But usually we do sort of formal interviews at this time of year. Try to make an appointment and try to come. It's helpful to read over the report card, maybe make some notes or some questions as well so that you'll be ready to go and you won't be sitting there trying to remember what it was you wanted to ask. Yeah. That can be good too, sort of to be prepared and to talk to your child. Maybe you want to talk to them about the report card first or what they might want you to discuss with the teacher too. Now, um, I guess different school boards do it differently. Some of them do it where um, you come with your child and others where it's just the parent and the teacher. Which one's better? Uh, you know what? There are advantages both ways. And even within school boards and within schools, sometimes teachers do it differently. So it's good to respect whatever the format is that, that you're offered. Um, sometimes it's nice when the kids do the student-led conferences because they have portfolios of their work, they're present, they're walking you through it all, so it's really personal that way. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I know that parents do like that one-on-one -on -one private time with the teacher. So if you need to, you can book a phone call or something like that as well if there are things you don't want to talk about in front of your child. So just because you have that conference system doesn't mean that you can't meet with the teacher at yeah, a separate time. absolutely. Yeah. Now, one thing that you mentioned right off the top there was um, just show up. It, it, do you find it, uh, the parents that may not be showing up that the, the students are often struggling in school as well? Not necessarily. You know what, I find a lot of the struggling students, the parents are very involved and actually those are some of the ones where I'm talking to them every week anyway. And so sometimes we just say, you know what, you don't need to come in on Thursday night because we talk weekly so don't worry <laughs> about it. Sometimes it's the, you know, the kids who seem to just be going along and doing really well that, uh, that you want to make sure you touch base with those parents because I don't write them as many notes or make mm -hmm. as many phone calls because the, the kid is doing very well. Now you mentioned preparation and talking to your children before you go in. What are some of the things you should be talking to your child about before you go in and speak with their teacher? So the first page of the progress report has the learning skills on it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to take a look and see are there any areas where maybe your child is only satisfactory or the needs improvement. Maybe talk to them about you know what they think is going on with that at school. The teacher may have given you some next steps or some things that you want to discuss with your child. And then in the subject areas as well, there are often um, there might be a check mark saying that they're progressing with difficulty. Talk to them about that subject you know like are you finding things hard are you asking the teacher or what is it that's kind of going on there mm -hmm. and it gives you a little bit of information when you go in just remember to take things that your, ch your child says with a grain of salt too because especially the, the littler they are the information yeah. that's coming home might not be completely accurate but it is good to get get their feedback and opinion before you go in. Now uh, for you as a teacher what steps do you like to use when you approach a parent? So and you know what as a parent I've seen it done several different ways with teachers and I know myself what I like to do is just open it up first and say do you have any questions about the report and then they can kind of get to what they want to talk about. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that same advice we get for doctor's appointments. Make sure you get to what you really want to say right away before you run out of time. Yeah. So I don't like to sort of talk, talk, talk and show all this work when really there's something pressing they want to discuss. Mm -hmm. So I like to kind of open it up to them but if you're not given that opportunity make sure you do get your questions out there. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much teacher. Teacher, uh, I, I still I have to say that this was always the scariest part of my <laughs> life. I remember just like locking myself in a closet waiting for my parents to come home for the trouble and uh, usually you know what though it usually was not that bad no. and none of my students will be feeling that way <laughs> well did they did your parents reassure you afterwards that's another thing do you talk to your kids after the interview absolutely and I mean it should be a positive thing right there are definitely strengths that should come out on the report card strengths that should come out in interviews so highlight those but then look and see where you need to improve okay, perfect thank you very much Great. Kate Wynn all right let's go back to Kaylee Bedore for one last time <laughs>